Hello everyone and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Where we last left off, we saw that there were actually natives here um, that look more Swedish than Siberian, but I don't know. Um, and we also got attacked by a bear, and then we killed the bear the second time round. Um, we've killed some bad guys, we've got a bow back, and we are now trying to find where the survivor went. But I don't know how she got by here and into this obviously blocked off cave. Boy, oh. Alright, I think this area is pretty much cleared now. Uh, so poison mushrooms over there, so let's go check this out. I'm still trying to get my rope bow, we haven't got one yet. Ooh. Ice is too cool. Science is a lot of Cavern. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope we can come back. I, I think I can, but... We have multiple paths here. We can either go up or we can go down. I'm gonna go up. Or not. Ah! Damn it! Ugh. Why can't things go right for once? I thought for a second then that her jeans were ripped at the butt, but they weren't. It's just ice look. More Russian. He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man, bearing a crude version prophet's icon, tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Track him at resistance from those who spoke, this prophet spoke with. This is sounding weird. So maybe the the item that he has is also making it so then he has power over people, like literal power. Um, because getting random ass villagers to try and kill a single person is a little much. Like even if they're working for Trinity, it's a bit much to just suddenly try and kill the guy. <laughs> Might just be the exact same area. Yep. Yo. Shit, that's gonna be cold. Yeah. Uh, is there a better way? An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. It does? Who uses that kind of arrowhead? This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. Oh, okay. Makes, that explains the holes. But why was it in a chest? Here we go, Lara. Hold L, die, die on our truck before it ends. Let's go to the side. Another one. A paisa. A sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. It reads, By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, 
Whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense. Okay. Really? Now, did that count? Oh, these are separate. This is a separate area. Okay. Um, there are more documents in here than, than what is being led to believe then. Um, and it's apparently a tomb, too. This game doesn't just, just wants to keep spoiling things, doesn't it? Frame rate, whoa! Don't know what was going on there. Got a cap. Skills. Uh, we have one of each at the moment. Uh, dodge counter, thick skinned. Increase uh, steady aim time on bow shots. Increase the amount of ammunition needed from enemy corpses. Animals blow when using survival instincts. Larger enemies the footprints and blood trails. Uh, rapid crafting. Crafting of throwable objects and ammo when on the run. Enemies killed or knocked out from a crafted handled object. Speed. Craft explosive bombs from red gas cans and red deadly mines. Land safely and find challenge objects more easily using survival instincts. Sure. Why not? I forget. this. Honed edge. A sharpened edge allows the blade to slide further into gas, improving leverage for increased fry speed. Looking mean now. Alright. I think we're supposed to go that way, but that is supposed to be Fall board or not? I thought this was an open. I thought that was hidden there. Huh. Optional challenge to move by. Force to find the entrance. Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. Solve ancient mysteries to earn valuable rewards. Extra valuable rewards. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Rewards. Rewards. How am I checking out the ship? Must be something up there. The Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While well, I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. Damn. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. 
My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. And then he never woke up. Oh, I think I know what we need to do. Somehow, ah. that's that actually going to do it. No, This calls for timing. to find out what's up there. Mom. Mom's up there. It never actually explains how she died, her mother. I don't know if it's, um, if I just can't remember or what. I don't know. Uh-oh. Jumping down. Look at all this. Why were they carrying so much wealth with them? It's done. 
captain of the ancient ship prepares for his We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. Why? It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. Well then. Map updated secrets with you. All the secrets. There's a relic down there. Um, that's it. That's just this relic down there. <laughs> you document a mural location for these murals. There's no murals. What are you talking about? the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. New abilities. Ancient abilities. Challenging. Quickly shoot up to two successive arrows about delaying, without the delay of redrawing from the quiver. Rapid fire arrows by quickly pressing and releasing right trigger after an arrow's first shot. Two complete. I shoot. Still doesn't explain why they were carrying so much gold. I don't know why we're not taking the book with us, but I don't know if we take it out there. Hey there. A Byzantine brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. It is. That's actually really good. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith. Okay, it could just be Jesus. It looks like Jesus. I swear, if it's Jesus, I'm gonna, it's gonna be weird. <laughs> Pretty much just higher up on the path than when we would have been in the ship. So, onwards. Adventure! Adventure! Oh. Are we gonna go over there? There's another document up ahead. That doesn't look stable at all, what I just jumped on. We got all the relics done and tomb, we just need the document, which is just ahead. There were open spots because there was water. Okay. Right there. Man continues on. Found his quarry deep in the northern mountains. I do not know what drives him. We pass through 
frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day, I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead. The mare that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. But I am so close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge. A joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week. And I will return to the Order of Trinity, triumphant. Just one more day, oh, and I will be upon him. Okay, then. Sound a little bit mad at the end. Okay, so this area is now pretty much done. And we just go on ahead. Now translate level one Russian. Yay, I'm a level one Russian. <laughs> Soon we shall be a level 100 Russian. Ah, Tasvadanya Vodka. Eat it. That looks like it's about to collapse on me. Oh. Not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? Who... So, there are people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Um, inventory. Can we craft anything at all? No, what about arrows? We can craft more arrows, I guess. Um, no upgrades, no skill points. I don't have anything explosive to open up the other way, and I don't have a gun, and I don't have rope bow yet, so we'll probably have to go back at some point later on. Region summary. Zero out of three tombs complete. This wait, no, let me read that. Tombs completed, zero out of three. There's three. Uh, missions completed, one. Uh, zero out of one. Challenges completed, four. There's 14 strop boxes. There's two crypt treasures. There's 18 relics, 26 documents, 12 murals, 21 survival caches, and nine coin caches. Great. That, that's, uh, that's a lot. Jump towards the zip line, move backwards to stop sliding down the side. First box is somewhere over here. There it 
There it is. Bunny. I missed. I suck. I am not carrying anything to hit that, but okay. Open the ball. That bunny is very noisy. Die bunny. Hit the bunny. Oh my god. Hold right trigger to use wood and feathers to craft arrows. Oh. You have quick travel or quick crafting now, that's fine. Oh, we can actually go in here. I wasn't actually expecting to do that. Thank you. Into the darkness. There's four caves in the survey installation. I mean, that's why I'm here. Complete challenges to earn XP. Everything looks like it. It's behind door number one. Dead body, my favorite. Oh, there's a thing back there I missed. I guess this is the crypt. I don't. I'm marking it just to be safe. Oh, it is the crypt. Never mind. Cocos of Nesia, the astronomer. My Greek is now level three. Prophet must have his followers. Kokos of Nicaea was one of the prophets first, branded a heretic in his home city. Kokos joined the pilgrimage north. His knowledge of the stars helped guide the way. Huh. It is said that Kokos and the prophet would sit for hours under the stars debating the nature of the universe and man's fraught place within it. For the prophet, he built an orrery of planets and stars so that even during the dark of winter, he might gaze upon the night sky. The city of Kizet, Kitesh wasn't built by the prophet alone, he draw the best and brightest in response. Right. Uh, there's nothing else to do. And I'll just naturally pull down. Oh, it's 
that we shall stop here in the next episode we shall actually go down this path see what we can find um and hopefully not get shot in the neck by an arrow so until then this is major shepherd hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next episode ciao guys